small, traditional, or you can go big or go home. Because we really want the real bacon, you know, the thick layered bacon that we can cut into thick slices to really get the amazing flavor of bacon. As you may know, my name is Leo, and uh, if you're vegan, I think this video is not going to be for you. But if you are not vegan and love whiskey and obviously love bacon, this video is definitely for you. Because today we're going to talk about how you can make an old fashioned with a really delicious piece of bacon. So if you love bacon and whiskey, cheers. All right, when we come to the whiskey, we have literally whatever we want to imagine for but of course there's obviously some choices that are better than others and what do you want to go for well what you want to go for is like a very well a whiskey full of personality that's why the ones here i've chosen and maybe you don't like some of these in particular but i've chosen them because i do think they first of all will be very easy to adapt to our bacon flavor uh, but second of all i think they have their own qualities now, and I'm speaking more about the Bowmore because I think the Bowmore whiskey that is peated has a, a, has a lot of people that are into peat not liking it that much. Uh, but I do really like it to combine with other types of flavors. I think it's a really good bridge uh, to open up for new flavors. So that's why I included it here. And also the Highland Park 18 is amazing because it has so much flavor and so much, yeah, just so much personality and a really nice, adjusted and balanced profile. But if you want to go for a more classical style, I would go for the more heavy uh, bourbons. And in particular, I would go for some with a little higher uh, proof or higher alcohol percentage, definitely. Now, the one we're gonna work, go with, uh, and right now I have two, I have Baker's, which I really like for this, and I think it's an amazing bourbon, uh, and really, yeah, underrated, I would say. But the one that's definitely not underrated and it's really good for the price <laughs> and i know whiskey lovers hate that but it's good uh, it's four roses four roses single barrel is amazing it has so much thickness it's uh, complex and it's at the same time not too sweet we got all the ingredients we want for a really good classical fashion even without the bacon now for the bitters we got many choices as well and to just make it easy for you if you want to make it yourself i would go and i am going to choose the Angostura bitters and orange bitters. So let's get started. So bacon, you can either go small, traditional, or you can go big or go home. Because we really want the real bacon, you know, the thick layered bacon that we can cut into thick slices to really get the amazing flavor of bacon. So basically go big or go home, but not only that, if you would use the more traditional or the more like this thin layered bacon, it's kind of like, uh, I don't know, you go to a, a motorcycle convention and you know, you just don't want to go with your motorcycle, you bring your bicycle, it's kind of the same thing. So that's why we're going to go for it, obviously, the real bacon. Basically, what we're going to do now, because uh, what kind of spices would you choose? And uh, you could also say, does it all need spice? Well, it doesn't really, but if you want to make it extra crispy, or like, like extra crispy, but extra nice, well, I would go for something like actually some chipotle powder, but also some maple syrup. Do you need it? Not at all, but let's just do it anyways, because it will make it so much more cool. So we start, of course, with giving it a bit of sugar here, then spice it up with the chipotle powder, that's very easy. Both sides here. Get the spice. And yeah, you get the idea. So yeah, that's basically it. And then we'll put it in the pan. We're reaching our moment where we have to make our old fashioned. And obviously we are not gonna fool around with it. I'm gonna go straight to it. 
and just show you the ingredients. First, we got some sugar just to create like the bottom here and one teaspoon of sugar. Then I add the bitters, four, I think I even put five there, but two, sorry, four and two orange. Now we got the base of some liquid. Now we want to add some ice cubes. Seven. And we're gonna add sugar. One CL. And voila, we got all the ingredients but we need to do one more thing. So two are impressions, like first of all, if you did your work right, you're gonna have a very delicious piece of bacon and a very good old fashioned. Now, how would you drink this? I think what I would recommend, even though it's nice to have it here, is to take a sip here. That's good. Mm. And that's how you do it. Just nice sweetness from the maple syrup, chipotle powder, and old fashioned. Of course, good. <laughs> Thanks for watching.